for some reason, right now, there's a lot of disinformation going around in regards to the UFO phenomenon. Bogus UFOs being posted on Facebook, live events, what the heck is going on? You've seen it around the world, what's going on over the past two weeks. People are taking advantage of this uh, phenomenon that's real. We've got the real videos from a sky watcher and we're gonna share it to you right now, coming in from a man that spends his time looking into the skies. Let's just roll the video, astonishing video, coming in from the lunar moon itself, from Carlos, the sky watcher. Watch this. Now, we're gonna break down the video in just a bit, but let's just roll it raw. Fix it on you. I don't know. Sorry, Rose, I'm not. I'm too far from the phone. Is that next to the moon or is it in the moon? Lights out, something was there. Now I got something because the moon is not moving, that the down is moving more to the right. Something was there. Then I got something. So just recently, uh, we have permission from the Carlos Skywatcher to share this video with you of his 
total research into the UFO phenomenon, and we have to give credit where credit's due. Some people want to play with the game of the UFO phenomenon, or, and some people want to like get to the truth, and that's what Carlos, the sky watcher, is doing. We're going to be supplying the original link. He's looking for anomalies as he's shooting the lunar moon surface, and he absolutely nailed it with this one. We're sharing it with you right now. You just saw the raw video and we're repeating it just so we can get a closer look. And is there some kind of secret space force program on the lunar moon itself? I got Brent here and we're looking over Carlos's footage. And what do you say to this astonishing footage from a sky watcher? Yeah, this is recent footage just captured within hours and Carlos is a man. He's out of Portugal. He's got the equipment. And, you know, this is as good as I've seen in a telescope of an observatory, a high professional observatory. He's getting great images of the moon. And what pops up, it just, it's a, astounding. It popped up out of nowhere and it stays and lingers right above the moon's surface as what I might think. I think it's right next to the moon. I don't think this is close, a satellite. I think this is launched from the moon and it's stationary, Blake. Yeah, this is one thing I'm trying to figure out because is this light, this anomaly actually connected to the moon on the dark side? As he states in his video, is this actually connected to the surface of the moon and revealing some kind of strange anomaly, a light, maybe a station? in the dark side right there again it was just captured yesterday may 3rd you can see the partially lit moon reveals this light anomaly do you think it's actually possibly connected to the lunar surface or hovering just above the moon right now that we're looking at it a little closer yeah that's a, that's a good point right there I, I really didn't look at that but definitely i'm looking at the circumference of the moon and it seems to be right within it could it be a base with lights that has electricity that's being highlighted by power yet yeah, now that i'm actually looking at it even closer brian i would have to say that this is absolutely not a satellite whatsoever or some anomaly on the lens i would have to say that this is some kind of base on the lunar uh, surface itself and that's what's astounding in the video too because you could tell that there is no obstruction of light or uh, clouds within the video this light actually shuts off like it's actually being noticed by carlos as he's shooting very close and they are telling people to shut the light down, shut the light down from the surface of the moon. Brent, is this uh, evidence that there could be a lunar base on the dark side of the moon being captured by Carlos, the sky watcher uh, from Portugal? Yeah, sometimes you don't need the big UFO, the, the big disc, a uh, flying saucer. I think this is proof enough that there's something happening on the moon's surface and they're trying to hide it, especially now. And with people being kind of hidden in their homes at the moment, people aren't seeing what's really happening. And Carlos, he's killing it with his YouTube channel. He's approaching 2,000 subscribers. Everybody give him some love and tell him third phase of moon set you there. But Carlos is doing a fantastic job showing anomalies that's really happening around the moon and within our own uh, hemisphere. Yeah absolutely there are people that are dedicated to the field to try and capture the anomalies and that's what carlos skywatcher has done in this video and we're happy to share it with you right here at third phase of moon we can see no deception no uh kind of deceit going on in this video it is 100 percent genuine and i believe this light source is coming from the surface of the moon itself so if you could explain to me what is going on it's not a satellite uh, it would have moved out of the position that it was stationary and uh, we have to ask ourselves the big question what are they not telling us and these amateur skywalkers or excuse me sky watchers uh, carlos the sky watcher what did he capture he's looking for it and he uh, nailed it uh, brent any last words here yeah the people on the ground it doesn't take the Pentagon or or some other factions out there that we've seen in the recent news to show soft disclosure. We got the people on the ground that's actually giving the proof 
right here at Third Phase Moon submitting videos that people can explain and let's get the truth out and it's up to you representing and giving these uh, videos a thumbs up and sharing it to the world. We really appreciate it. That's right, Brent. And uh, out there, the world, you be safe. You keep in touch. Third Phase of Moon is going to be here. We'll see everybody real soon. Mm -hmm.